A no commentary version of this run can be found in the pinned comment in the comments section below. This video is intended as a game walkthrough. It is not a speedrun. All strategies in this video were made for efficiency and success rate. Please watch the entire video and listen carefully to the commentary before trying any of these strategies for yourself. Hello everyone, this is a no save, no damage, no item box, 100% run of Resident Evil 2 Remake's Leon B scenario. This is standard difficulty on PC, but it uses console strats. around no, don't shoot get down come on what the hell is going on I don't know Hopefully they'll have some answers at the police station. Wait, you're a cop? Yeah, Leon Kennedy. You are? Claire, her right field. Claire, I hope you made it here. So the reason I play on standard difficulty is because you can only get all six side packs if you play on standard difficulty. I have no idea if collecting all the side packs on hardcore difficulty will actually contribute towards getting the achievement. So I just play on standard just to be safe. There's a Mr. Raccoon there where, where I just shot. If you're wondering why I'm shooting at empty pedestals, that's because I already shot the Mr. Raccoon. So I gotta show you where it is somehow. Hey! Claire? Leon! I'll be right there! Leon, we really gotta stop meeting like this. Are you all right? Police chopper, it just came out of nowhere. Yeah, I'm fine. I take it you don't have the key. No, I don't. It's good to see your face, though. How are you holding up? I am hanging in there. Hell of a night, huh? <sighs> yeah. You find your brother? I did, actually. He's... Just me think it can't get any worse. Leon, you should get going. Don't worry about me. Just get yourself to safety. No, Leon, seriously, they're getting through the fence. Please just go. We're gonna make it. Both of us. So we just have to go all the way over here and try to stay on the right side of the exit way while heading over to this chain link fence. That way, the female zombie waking up doesn't grab us immediately. We grab this grenade so that we can thin out the horde coming back. The M19, because there's only 45 ACP bullets 
available instead of handgun bullets in the B scenario. Unless you want to waste gunpowder A's trying to mix regular handgun bullets. Not exactly. Highly not recommended. How I pictured breaking this in. And then there's some 45 ACP. So 45 ACP has a lot of hit stun. If you target zombies in the legs or the head, then it will stun them immediately. Just throwing that grenade up, up and over there. There's usually like four, three, four zombies or so. As long as there's uh, ones, if there's, as long as there's like one or two zombies, you can generally get around this the last two by stunning the them, day. shooting them in the leg or something if you need to. So grab more bullets, and uh, we're gonna go this way first so that we can get the weapon storage key card out of the uh, art storage room up here. All of Chief Iron's priceless art. This is a pretty old run, so I'm just going straight for the decaps pretty much immediately, if I can. Otherwise, I'm just trying to knock them down. You can run straight by them while they're falling down. It's only after they've fully fallen down that I would uh, worry about the zombies uh, lunging at your feet, trying to get back up. Pop Elliot a few times. There's also a uh, a page from Elliot's pocketbook right there. Shotgun shells, absolutely invaluable. Hold on to those. There's a Mr. Raccoon pedestal right here. Shoot that. Electrical part, which is a fuse for the shutter. I'm just using that last bullet there to uh, get it out of my inventory. So that, that way, whenever I do have more free inventory space, I can go pick up more... Uh, 45 ACP ammo. The reason for uh, 45 ACP ammo, as much 45 ACP ammo as we can get, is specifically because we need it for the first boss. There's our gunpowder, gunpowder blue, and then we're going to mix the gunpowder blue with the gunpowder yellow and combine these two boxes of shotgun shells to make another uh, slot. Just stick that in slot two. Fuck it, why not? So, a thing to note about uh, no box runs is it's really all about taking advantage of the game's inventory system to its fullest. There's no zombies in this hallway over here like there are in scenario A. So we can just run right back here, grab the 45 ACP from here, and then go to the storage room where two zombies would have busted out the first time, the first playthrough. And take that. There's really no need for me to take these boards. Well, actually, in Leon B, yeah, there is because whenever we uh, whenever we come back through in uh, RPD two, we actually need to board up some windows in RPD one so that we're safe. There's more large caliber handgun ammo here, and our first hit pouch or side pack is right there. Something tells me he's not a cop. That's uh, that's some very highly developed uh, skills as a uh, as a detective there, Leon. In the B scenarios, there's a liquor in this hallway, like there's supposed to be in the A scenarios in Resident Evil 2 Classic. But they decided to uh, they decided to fuck with the player here by putting the liquor in the B scenario instead. They swapped around the uh, the enemies. So we're just going to board up these two windows. The reason why these two windows, and we're not worrying about the last one further down the hall, is because we only need to go a little bit down the hallway in uh, RPD2 while we're running away from Mr. X. You know, I'm just going to go full spoilers here. You already know about Mr. X. Come on, you're playing B scenario. Yeah. 
There's a record of events there. And then we're going to use the cutting tool. Chop that wide open. All of the ammo routing here, by the way, is uh, something you can very easily do on hardcore as well. My strats on hardcore versus on standard actually do not change at all. Yeah. So whatever you see, aside from maybe like a couple of extra boxes of bullets or so that I probably don't even get around to using in general, will also work on hardcore as well. But as far as the item routing here, it does not work on hardcore because standard has more hit pouches than hardcore. So in case you're wondering, well, hey, Carsey, where's all, the, where's the continuation to those console strats videos? And well, this is it. You're looking at it. I already gave you enough console strats videos in order for you to be able to unlock the rocket launcher or unlock the minigun. So you already, you already got, you already got your achievements. Which is the whole reason why I did those anyway. So 106 and 109 first. The storage locker terminal memo there. I'm going to take this roll of film, and we're also going to take 45 ACP here, then use the weapons locker key card. Get that out of our inventory. And then we get mad shotgun shells and mad shotgun. So we're four and five. We're going to wait for this fucking asshole to bust through the door. We can get closer if we want to try to bait him out, bait him into busting open the door faster. That's what I wanted to do. I talk about doing things quickly, but that's kind of a, uh, that's kind of, uh, circumstantial. This is not a speedrun, so definitely do not treat this as a speedrun. It's just here to, uh, help you get achievements. The code to this uh, safe over here is 9157. Then we got the uh, first, or the second side pack. The operation report is sitting on the desk here. There's a rookie's first assignment. The password to this is NED. The password to the one on the right is MRG. We'll combine that with the Matilda. And uh, we're just going to use the Matilda from this point on for shooting Mr. Raccoons. And there was the second Mr. Raccoon pedestal. We don't need to worry about that zombie following us through here. We are actually never going to go visit that room again. So while this zombie is getting up, we're going to blow him up. Blow off his head. I'm going to put this board over here just in case. I don't think any zombies follow us back through here regardless. A female zombie. She's uh, she's getting the business too. After she uh, after she flops over the railing, there's a book, medicinal benefit of herbs. Definitely want that. We're gonna go ahead and use the roll of film. Doing so here will actually uh, save us a trip through a liquor infested hallway later. Considering it, okay. All right. Well. I think I actually had uh, I think I actually had a few too many handgun bullets here, so I'm just gonna take advantage of uh, take advantage of my fuck up. Might as well, right? You know what's funny? That shutter never opens. I wonder what's behind that shutter. They just put that shutter there, and it doesn't it doesn't do anything, which is uh, kind of a wasted opportunity if I'm being honest. What the? Just trying to get this guy down, line him up. I recorded this uh, playthrough in late February. I was intending for this video to be a continuation of the uh, PS4 console strats video. The Leon and Claire PS4 console strats videos that I made. But uh, I just never got around to dubbing this or even completing the, uh, the Claire B run. So certain strats that I highlight on in the Leon A, Claire A, and Claire B videos may not 
be present in this video, specifically the one where you can hit stun a zombie with your handgun and then finish him off with the shotgun. I don't do that in this run for that for that reason because this run was done a really, really long time ago. And it's just been chilling on my hard drive. So we got the um, we got the spade key. Now we're going down here, and the code for this locker is C A P. We're gonna take that, take the shotgun shells there, and we got uh, six shotgun shells again. Portable safe instructions. We'll grab the portable safe later during RPD three, when it's actually uh, safe. safe to come back. We're gonna go over here, uh, hug that clothes rack over there to uh, get Mr. X to spawn. And uh, that'll put Mr. X on the field, but we don't really gotta worry about him that much. We're gonna combine the uh, the blue gunpowder with the yellow gunpowder over here. And there's, uh, there's that Mr. Raccoon that I said was here in the other... Uh, in the other videos that I never shot, and I do specifically remember that I that I shot him in this video. So I'm actually pretty glad that I kept this video on my hard drive, now that I think about it. There's Claire's memo there. That's a Leon B. That is a file that is completely unique to Leon B. So with Mr. X spawned, he actually goes through the lockers and showers, and that leaves us free to just uh, go this way. And we can check the police station upper floor map over here and solve the puzzle over here. It is Twins Scale Worm. So that's done. And uh, we're going to use this opportunity to uh, decapitate some zombies. We'll equip the knife over here. I uh, don't use the knife as a weapon against bosses in this run because the strategies that I wanted to show were specifically console strats. And there's uh, there's Mr. X. So we have to uh, lure Jesus him this way. Christ. We want him to go the long way around. Fortunately, we're faster going the long way around. Nemes er, I almost said Nemesis. Tyrant is a little slow on stairs. Speaking of which, Resident Evil 3 Remake Nemesis. Tell him to follow his nose. He'll walk around in circles. Okay, so we gotta wait until Tyrant's in the room before we plant the bomb. And then we're going to exit this room and have the Tyrant uh, follow us back in through the library. He's gonna go one of two places. Either he's going to follow us down the ladder, or... Oh, why did I pick this up so early? No, Carsey, don't do it. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, this is, uh, this is interesting. Why did, uh, why did, why did past Carsey decide on this route? I guess we're about to find out, huh? Yeah, well, perhaps the answer will come to me. But I'm waiting for Mr. X to go the long way around so that when he does that, I can set up these shelves and then I can climb back up the ladder. Or not, because he actually did see me. So I'll just grab those handgun bullets behind the uh, shelf on the way out. At least I expect that's what I did. Because I would have had plenty of room to do it. Don't make me flip this table again past Carsey. Anyway, okay, so the solution to this is Ram, Harp, Bird. There's the Maiden Medallion.
You know, what's funny is, uh... <laughs> we always blow off Analingus over here. You know, he's always he's always eating the ass of that zombie. We always we always blow off Analingus' head. I wonder if we'll find Cunnilingus anywhere. Anyway. <laughs> We're uh, gonna use. We're gonna use the puzzle over here. I totally stole that joke from Mill Mortem. Thank you, Mill Mortem. Okay, so um, Crown Fire Bird. And uh, probably not gonna worry too terribly much about decapitating zombies here. I'm just gonna use the uh, spade key where I can. But just use the spade key. Oh my god! Somebody catch the number on that Marvin? That was ridiculous. So yeah, Mar Marvin would have... Uh, <laughs> Marvin just spun around and magnet grabbed me with his left hand. He was actually supposed to spin 180 degrees, but uh, his grab radius is about uh, 270 degrees in front of him. So he got me. I had to use a knife, but that's okay. Because he set his he set his ass up for me to uh, for me to blow his head off. Anyway, we also got a page on Marvin's couch there for the. Um... Oh, I saw myself trying to use that item box. The urge was overwhelming. Uh, sitting on Marvin's couch was a, the second page from the handbook. And now we're on our way to the first boss. About uh, about 60, 45 ACP rounds is going to be enough to take out uh, G1 over here. Alright, so the deal with the G1 is I always go center mass. But uh, if the opportunity presents itself, like if he slams his pipe down, then that's when I go for the eye. You're probably uh, thinking about how grossly inefficient it is, but I'm not thinking about ammo act. I'm not thinking about in terms of like raw damage. I'm thinking in terms of how consistent is it to beat him. With this strategy, like just just very easily going for center mass shots like that. There, see, like his like his like if he's stunned like that, that's when it's easy to actually shoot him in the eye. But otherwise, it's like just go for the uh, just go for the uh, go for the center mass shots. I did play this with keyboard and mouse, but I tried to make the shots and aiming as uh, as simple as possible for controller setups. But yeah, you saw that? Saw how quickly he went down? It would have been about that fast, even without the, uh, even without the, uh, eye shots. Somebody's watching me. So after this, we are good to run around and start collecting ammunition all the leftover ammunition 
But I guess I didn't even bother to do that, huh? Why didn't I bother to do that? That actually would have uh, helped me a little bit, I think. But also, I do have a shotgun, which is more plentiful in ammo for clearing out uh, standard enemies. The shotgun kills zombies and zombie dogs in one shot, so... And I'm always, like... I'm always at... A, uh... An overabundance of ammo by the end of the game. Side pack number three is in the locker over here. And Q cutscenes. Key card. You gotta be kidding me. Get off of me! Hey! Who is that? Stay sharp. Lower it. FBI. Sorry. Thank you. For your help. Surprised you made it this far. FBI, huh? What's going on here? Sorry, that information's classified. Where are you going? Do yourself a favor. Stop asking questions and get the hell out of here. Hey! I'm not done talking to you! So the only thing that is uh, important to note here is I just decapitate this zombie. I don't decapitate it? Why don't I decapitate it? Ah, whatever. I guess I gotta deal with him on the way out then, huh? This really is an old video. Hello? Hey. I don't believe it. A real human. <laughs> Hello, human. You been here long? Long enough. Are we the last ones alive? No. No, there's a few of us. Huh. That's good news, I guess. Yeah. That's, of course, Irons sent you. Irons? You mean Chief Irons? Is he still around? Who cares? Hopefully he's somebody's dinner by now. What do you mean by that? He's the bastard that locked me in here. I'm sure he had a good reason. He did. I was about to blow the whistle on his dirty ass. I'd have done the same thing to him, I guess. Hey, I'll make you a deal. Unlock this cell and I'll give you this. There's no other way out of that parking garage. Believe me. Sorry. I can't do that. I have to talk to the chief first. Look, we're both prisoners in this station. So either we play nice and help each other out, or... Oh, shit. It's coming. What? What's coming? Come on. Come on, don't be an asshole. Okay, you need this. Just get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> Oh my god. Who is that? It's just me. So you can 
put that thing away. I don't even know what happened. It just happened so quick. I told you to get out of here. You wouldn't want to end up like Ben, would you? You knew him? He was an informant. Had information of use to my investigation. So what he said was true? Hey, you can't keep walking away from me. I don't even know your name. I'm Leon Kennedy. Find a way out, Leon. Before it's too late. Then we'll talk. Name's Ada. Well, I guess the deal's on. So there's the, uh, the jail repair memo. Another file that we need. God, past Carsey, please tell me you decapitate this zombie. Please tell me you're not a complete idiot. Okay, well, I guess he's uh, going to wake up and try to go for the foot lunges during our grand escape from the jail later. Fucking past Carsey. So there's no liquors here, we can just run right through. If you're coming off of this directly from the Claire, run. Once we get through the kennel, the reason why I shoot all those dogs is because we will have to deal with fewer dogs as they come out of the kennels later. We'll only have to deal with four dogs instead of seven. There's the autopsy report. Um, oh, but see, I didn't even grab the... Uh, I didn't even grab the diamond key. Why didn't I do that? Dude, pass Carsey, I hope you're I hope you're not a complete fucking idiot. Alright, well there's the boxed electric part. The first of two. Man, pass Carsey is really confusing the shit out of me right now. So flick on two and three in order to uh, solve that puzzle. And we'll take the blue gunpowder. Just uh, aiming over here so that when the dog pops around the corner we can uh, blow his head off. I don't even need to worry about that zombie waking up, truthfully. I don't even know why I bother to go for this trick anymore, because I'm always I'm always set up to leave. And I have no reason to ever go back into this room anyway. Since I got every item that is relevant in here. Alright, so dog's gonna bust out of the vent. We're gonna blow him up. We already took care of the uh, other two dogs. So we are completely 100% safe going through here. Going back in here for just a moment so that we can grab the uh, gunpowder, the yellow gunpowder and combine that with the uh, blue gunpowder we got in the other room. There's a reason why I didn't take the yellow gunpowder with me so early. And uh, there's going to be no zombies waiting for us. I would just went over that way for a moment just to check and make sure that I had what I needed. 
Okay, I lied. There's actually there's actually three zombies right there. Man, that is so awkward when it just like spins around like that, like he did. Like he just spun 180 degrees and just like then just like grabbed. Then just like grab me, like magnet grab me from his left side. It's so bizarre. Such a bizarre way to get grabbed. Especially because it was like impossible for me to line up a shotgun shell to the to blow up his head. Fortunately, Leon can actually uh, backtrack and visit uh, certain parts of the RPD that Claire cannot visit quite so fast. The code for this safe is 6211. 6211. Number six, number two, number eleven. And that'll give us the uh That'll give us the uh the muzzle for the Matilda, which will reduce the uh which will reduce the kickback a little bit. There's a Mr. Raccoon statue right there. That is shootable in all four scenarios. Shotgun shell right there. I'm gonna go ahead and decapitate these guys. Because we are gonna have to come back through here eventually. Probably. Maybe? Nah, I don't think so. So we got the uh, we got the gold cog. We can open up this locker here. When we're playing as Leon, we want to save every single grenade and flash grenade that we can. that over to the left side. Decapitate these guys. Grab the club key and make our way back through Mr. X infested territory. Quick and easy way to uh, get the achievement for shooting off Mr. X's hat right there. Just swing by here, let Mr. X follow us, and then we're going to swing all the way around. It is possible to bait out a swing from Mr. X pretty much as soon as you see him, but uh, it's actually very risky, so I don't even bother for that. Because this is a Leon scenario, and we have to go into the west hallway that we boarded up before. The uh, quickest way, the quickest way to do that is through this way, and there is no reason not to go this way because there are no zombies that will actively impede our progress. I still gotta watch out for. Uh, still gotta watch out for the uh, for the one zombie over there. Okay, when we come back in through here, we have to go in and out. And when we do that, both of the liquors will have despawned. We gotta wait for the music to fade out. Just doing a quick check.
Actually, no. Only one liquor fades out. But the liquor already... The liquor... I touched the liquor on accident here. So I got a little bit lucky. Just, uh... Praying to a god in heaven that liquor isn't there whenever I get out of here. Gotta wait for Mr. X to make his way through the door. He has to go the long way around. Make sure he's going the long way around. And then once we come out of here, we're walking. Just keep walking. Seems scary, because Mr. X is hot on our tail, but trust. Just walk. And then when we're at the final stretch where the liquor can no longer grab us, that's when we exit. That's when we just go ahead and start running again. Oh man, it sounded, sounded like Mr. X's footsteps. He just like warped right out, didn't he? Dude, hell yeah, he did. Also, next to, uh... There's the, there's the zombies we got rid of earlier. Now we can just move this... Once, because we set it up properly earlier. And we can just keep going as far ahead of Mr. X as we can. But he's still hot on our heels. Mr. X is really not a problem as long as you have a specific route to follow. As long as you follow the exact same route every time. Like, as long as you follow my route, he is not a problem. Because he's just he's just done and over with. So that when we come back through RPD3, we'll be able to come back and get the rest of the stuff. Gotta make sure that we take the large cog after we put it down first. I'm gonna go upstairs. Take the uh, smaller cog. Use the larger cog again. Raise and lower that shotgun a few times. By the way, the raising and lowering of the shotgun is a speedrun trick, but I just do it because it's not like I am capturing some compelling gameplay by going slow on the stairs. The big difference between a no damage run and a speedrun, while they both look very similar, is that the purpose of a speedrun is to go as fast as possible. On this. Whereas in a no damage run, I just simply do not waste time. Because I already know exactly where I'm going. And that's pretty much exactly why I'm able to get 100%, do 100% of everything, and have it all be under two hours. So we got two choices. We can either go right or left. I got no idea where Mr. X is. So I'm going right. Thought I heard Mr. X's footsteps over there. Oh, there he is. Yep, he's right up here with us. So we gotta go. He doesn't see us yet, though. We're definitely not going back that way. Oh, actually, the reason why I go back this way is uh, specifically so that I can uh, go downstairs, put up this board over here, and then use the last use of the club key...
But while I'm in here, I'm going to combine with that large gunpowder. Oh yeah, in case you missed it, when I picked up the large gunpowder, I shot another Mr. Raccoon. I, uh... I don't know, I just kind of blanked out and I didn't bother, uh... Mentioning that. But anywho. In case it wasn't obvious. Confiscation report and, uh, the portable safe are the two items we got. Ah, but look who's down here with us. We can hear his... We can hear his footsteps. I was actually kind of hoping to run across and hope that he might bust through the wall. Because it would actually make, uh... It would actually, uh, create a shortcut for me to, uh, leave. See, there he is. He won't follow us in here. I think the thing about Mr. X is he can hear your footsteps while you're running, but he can also see your flashlight, and he can also see you. So if Mr. X notices a disturbance in the force, basically, he will turn around and follow you. And uh, to that end, we're just going to follow him up the stairs. It sounds like he's going up to the third floor, but I couldn't be too sure. He did go upstairs, right? Yep, okay, he did go upstairs. By the way, whenever you hear Mr. X's theme song, that means that his aggro is drawn onto you. But yeah, sometimes Mr. X will actually warp into the, uh... Sometimes Mr. X will actually warp into the, um... Into the press room and bust open the bust open the door, but it's I haven't really figured out how to manipulate him to do that though. I think he has to be on the first floor for that to happen. I went back into the eastern office and grabbed the one flash grenade because I need to use a flash grenade on the zombies on the way out. And I also ran in here to pick up three magnum bullets because I had the extra uh, space to do it. Don't really need these magnum bullets, but it's on the way out, and it's right here, so I might as well, right? Coming in here for just a moment, pick up the equipment disposal notice. Gonna set these guys up by uh, baiting them into opening the door for us. Yeah, that zombie is Dunzo, and here's another Mr. Raccoon right here. Now we're at 10 shotgun shells. I'll take the Mr. Raccoons here. use our shotgun on all three of these guys. I'm actually going to backtrack a little bit after I uh, use the key card here. Oh, look at that! Past Carsey actually is smart after all. Look at that. He saw the zombie and he realized. That must have been when I was just then getting into the habit of decapitating that zombie. But I'm just going ahead and uh, getting rid of the cube conductors here for the uh, express purpose. Of being able to open up inventory space to grab the film and the handgun upgrade. There's Ben's memo and... Q cutscene. Yeah, but that doesn't explain the rumors about the orphanage. I, I just find it way too coincidental Umbrella is one of the benefactors. 
You told me this interview was about the new scholarship umbrella setup. <laughs> Come on, Linda. Nobody cares about that. They want to know about the G virus. Where did you hear about this? They had a big fucking sinkhole in the city, which, by the way, rumor has it goes straight to your underground lab. Now, are yeah. you going to talk to me? Or are you going to. The interview is over. <laughs> So if you've seen the Leon A video, you know the drill. We're just going to pull this lever and go around all these zombies, but Mr. X is going to head us off. Fortunately, way easier to dodge over here. If you're crafty, you can go through the zombies, but uh, Give me a break. I wouldn't recommend it. So we're just going to take a wide circle around Mr. X over here. We're going to turn right, and we're going to throw a grenade as soon as we get over here. Throw a flash grenade as soon as we get over to this section. Don't worry about the zombie grabbing you, just make sure that you've thrown the grenade first. Because if you do, then the zombie will grab you and the bite won't connect once the flash grenade goes off. Saving your ass, that's twice. I didn't realize you were keeping score. Look, this isn't a game. Oh, you're gonna be kidding me. Nothing dies down here. I take it you have the key card. Yeah, and this. I was hoping you could explain what's on it. Maybe. After I hear it. Let's get out of here. Yep, so before we put in the key card, we're just gonna run back into the RPD right quick. Or run back into the uh, firing range right quick, grab the box, and do I have an extra slot free? It seems like I do. So there's a roll of film. I actually don't even remember like precisely what my route was and what items would wind up choking my inventory on the way to the sewers, so I guess I kind of yellowed it when I picked up that roll of film. Gonna examine the uh, key over here. Pop open the trunk. Oh, I always forget to throw away that stupid key. We'll combine that and now we have a fully upgraded Matilda. And our first upgrade for the W870 is going to be in Kendo's gun we shop along with a grenade. Shot. This is mostly just cutscenes here, so I'm gonna go quiet for a little while. <sighs> is that the intel you needed? Well, what exactly are you looking for? More info on the people responsible for this mess. Road's out. Going through that gun shop looks like the only way. I'm 
gonna hurt you. I said don't move. I'm just passing through. I'm gonna ask you to lower that weapon. I like kill you are. You gotta turn around and go right back out the way you came in. I think your daughter needs help, sir. Don't tell me how to deal with my daughter. Drop it. No! Wait! Step aside. We need to terminate her before she turns. Terminate? It's my fucking daughter. Ada. Just let them be. Emma? Sweetheart, I told you to stay put. Daddy. Yeah, my daddy's here. Okay. Those fucking things outside. Look what they did to us. You're a cop. You're supposed to know something. How did this happen? Huh? She was our sweet little angel. Mommy. I'm asleep, babe, honey. Okay. And I'm gonna put you to bed, too, okay? Emma. Privacy. You know, it's one thing to keep the truth from me, but why him? I want to find out what's happening here and stop whoever's behind it. Helping people like them? That's why I joined the force. My mission is to take down Umbrella's entire operation. We may not make it out. Whatever it takes to save this city, count me in. Heard of the Umbrella Corporation? They're a pharmaceutical company secretly making bioweapons. They have a virus. It turns people into indestructible monsters. That explains the horrible things I've seen. <sighs> That's why I'm looking for a medical She just is going to get to it. Based on what you've said, the sewer seems fitting. Gee, thanks. Can't imagine a real scientist being down here. According to HQ, this leads right into Umbrella's secret facility. Come on. Sewers are run by the city. How could they have a facility without the authorities knowing? Welcome to Fulton America. Jesus! That an earthquake? What the hell? chance. You're stuck with me to the end. Ugh. Ugh. You sure this is the right way? Unfortunately. Wait there. Holy 
there's a grenade next to the alligator. Picking that up will make another stack of grenades, beware. Chew on that, you overgrown son of a bitch. And also a missable Mr. Raccoon that is only available in Leon's scenario. That's the one that I just shot. Leon, up here. What the hell was... Just get up here. Can't say I didn't warn you. You said the virus turned people into monsters, not reptiles. Fair point. I'm just straight. Umbrella sells monsters like that to who? Our military? Somebody else's? They don't sell the monsters. They sell the viruses that make them. And Annette is who makes the viruses. As scary as that alligator was, Annette is far more dangerous. Identify yourself. Annette Birkin. She's who we're looking for? Not much time. Need to dispose of it. We're here for the G-Virus. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. I'm warning you, Doctor. Oh, yeah? Hey! Stop! Stop! Ada! I didn't expect that from a scientist. Uh, Leon. Forget about me. Just go. Stop her before she gets away. Oh. I'm right outside the facility, in pursuit of Annette. It's not on her, it must be in the nest. Once it's in hand, I'll call for extraction. You can run, Annette, but you can't hide. Secret weapon time. So the Ada section is uh, really straightforward. Just uh, turn out a bunch of things and uh, spin a bunch of fans with the EMF. And then after we switch that, we're going to, uh, well, after we're done with the fan, we're going to switch that. I'm trying to see if I can't, uh, get this guy's leg to go. Bye-bye. There it goes. There's a September inspection, week one. Oh, hey, what's on the other side of that box over there? I never even bothered to check. So now we're down here. We're going to run this way.
We're gonna sort of air to the left a little bit, and the zombie's gonna fall. And while he's uh, falling, we're gonna use the EMF on the uh, power panel there, and just take out legs as we're going along. That's what I picked up the ammo for. I'm like not even going to show how to do the uh, how to do the uh, beat the Ada section with only the EMF achievement because it's kind of lame to be honest. It's pretty RNG whether or not you take damage there. So while this thing is opening, you can actually switch the power over to the fan. And there we go. Everything dangerous is all done. But we still have one more file to collect, which is going to be up here. September inspection week two. Then to the right, there is a Mr. Raccoon. And then we can pick up the uh, wristband over here. Everything else here is pretty straightforward, so. I'm just gonna shut my trap during these cutscenes. Bravo. Gonna burn me alive now. You'll never get your filthy hands on the G. I'm not the only one after it. You realize that. And you won't die alone. Ada? Damn it. Ada? Where are you? Smell. 
So Leon's entrance into the sewers. If we head to the left here, there are some shotgun shells that we can grab. go up here and there's also a videotape there if you want it oh shoot yeah okay that zombie doesn't uh that zombie doesn't ever uh doesn't ever ambush me like that so i lost a defense grenade there pretty sad about that actually doesn't really matter too much though the grand scheme of things, because I always have like one or two flash grenades left over. I would just prefer to have two flash grenades left over instead of one, just in case something goes wrong with Super Tyrant. Zombie in the water over here. Uh, here's another way to get around this uh, G mutant over here. Is just hug the left wall and uh, squeeze right by him. And uh, whenever he spins around and grabs you, you can just use a knife. Though, uh, if you've seen any of my other standard mode videos, I actually explain... Well, actually, the standard mode Leon A video, you will actually see exactly how to do it with a handgun instead, which actually might be a little bit easier if you're aware of the mechanics involved. Where'd she go? The copy of emails to Umbrella HQ is right there. Some more Magnum bullets, if we type in SZF, well, dial in SZF. I don't like the sound of that. So my inventory was full there. Uh, going to punch in the code here. Two, twelve, eight. To get the shotgun stock here. And uh, gonna go ahead and use these uh, handgun or these extra two shotgun shells here. Get them out of my inventory so that I can actually carry the uh, T-bar handle. Claire's note is also next to the T-bar handle. That is a file that is unique to Leon Second. And also the delivery receipt is at the bottom of the stairs here.
Gonna pull that lever next and add another hand grenade to our second stack. We started our second stack early, but we have just barely enough ammo to work with. up the elevator here. We'll pick up the uh, hip pouch number four. Decapitate this guy. Also got to make sure that I grab that uh, grab that hidden film. I hope I remember to do that. Three zombies on the way over to the treatment facility key. We're going to decapitate all of them. Because we got the ammo for it. Also trying to use the T-bar handle as much as possible. Just to get it out of our inventory. In the B scenario, it's actually three uses because the T valve under the RPD, like under the uh, maiden faucet in the main hall, does not close in the B scenario, so we don't even need to worry about turning it open. get rid of that and then we are going to run backwards and go ahead and do RPD 3. The treatment key only unlocks two doors, so just get it out of our inventory pretty much immediately. And in going into the other treatment door, we can combine the large gunpowder with a yellow gunpowder, get six more shotgun shells. Then we'll head into the machinery room over here, grab the roll film. And why am I going back down this way? Oh, so I can get these shotgun shells here. Okay. Alright. Alright. This is acceptable. The uh, music festival flyer is also on the table there. And we can push the shelf out of the way, go back up this elevator, and explore the RPD one final time. There's some magnum ammo here. We have a lot of magnum ammo at this point. We'll round out our third stack of or second stack of grenades with this grenade that we've left at the bottom stair.
take this lunchbox here. That'll give us a roll of film whenever we open it. And also we're going to use the diamond key one final time and grab the other portable safe. And now we are free to grab a lot of stuff. A lot, a lot of stuff. Actually, no, we're not, because I first have to go back this way. I maybe should have waited until RPD-3 to pick up the red book, because I go into the library anyway. So all I did was just choke myself out of an inventory slot. We're going to go into the uh, art room over here, combine the left arm with the book... And uh, we're going to use the left arm with the book here and take the scepter. We just have to run in a uh, run in an arc around the liquor. Liquors actually don't turn too terribly fast. It's when they actually are in a point where they can like chase you that you have a problem so try to just run around the liquor as quickly as you can and hopefully he turns to face you and while he's turning he'll uh miss miss his chance to get at you went ahead and decapitated these guys so I wouldn't have to worry about them there's a liquor in here. I decided to go go ahead and uh, make my way in here first, and uh, do the uh, do the portable safe puzzles. Well, eventually, past Carsey will get the solution to this puzzle, right? So with those solved, we can uh, type in 103 in order to get a knife. We can type 102 in order to get 
some gunpowder. We can type 203 because we have both of the buttons in order to get the final side pack. You know, if you're crafty enough, you uh, you don't even have to uh, revisit the RPD for a third time in Leon B, but I just do it this way anyhow. Man, helicopters tonight. Alright, this liquor is uh, being a piece of shit. But I was able to squeeze right by him, and I'm just going to walk right on by now. He seems confused as hell. Actually, I did not pick up that uh, blue gunpowder. But I developed as many rolls of film as I could, just so that I could uh, get them out of my inventory, so that when we go upstairs, and because I also developed the uh, the hidden, the hiding place roll of film, I am able to go back and pick up every single item in the star's office that I would have missed. I also picked up the jewelry box here. Don't gotta worry about any liquors in this hallway either. Also round out our stack of uh, flash grenades here. We'll combine the uh, red jewel with the box over here to get the star's badge. I usually like to uh, open the box from Wesker's desk in the same menu. And we can uh, press this button. Now we have access to the weapons locker and the lightning hawk. And the letter to stars members, which is available in all four scenarios. Also to the left, in case we didn't get it earlier, there is a note from Claire. All that needs to be done now is uh, need to go upstairs and grab some magnum bullets from the locker, the DCM locker upstairs and develop one more film. Got rid of that dude's head. The other uh, drawer is hiding four hundred flamethrower fuel. 
which is pretty handy. Now we can make our way back to the sewers, but before that, we're going to retract the USB dongle. And take the long barrel for the lightning hawk. We're going to decapitate the zombie in the blue jumpsuit because otherwise... Otherwise he will uh, get up a little later. Then we're going to use the, uh, use the magnum. As soon as these guys pop out of the water. I think if you shoot him with a powerful enough shot while he's raising his uh, head in order to spit out some embryos, it seems as though he'll... Uh, it seems as though it'll cancel out the uh, embryo spit attack. He tried to football tackle me, well you know what? He's donezo. But that's pretty much the main reason that I get the Magnum, is just so that I can get rid of all the G-mutants pretty fast. There's another Mr. Raccoon stand right over there. Decapitate that guy. And use the queen plug. Then go up and grab the king plug. Put down the king plug, grab the flamethrower. And go the opposite direction and take both those plugs back. Oh, you know what? I just realized something. I didn't grab the rook plug. 
So we're taking an extra trip to grab that rope plug. So now we're going to drop into the water. And, uh... Then this G-Embryo is going to pop out of the water here. He'll swing, he'll miss. Whenever he does his football tackle and he swings and he misses, he'll go under the water and then he'll pop back out of the water. Uh, most of the times where the G-Mutant pops out of the water... Uh, he will stun you, but if he does it after a football tackle, then he won't stun you. So now I have to go all the way back here to grab the Rook Plug. And then we make our way over to the boss from there. The safest way to get back to the save room is, of course, back through this waterway. If we try to go the way that was directly in front of us, then we would have to contend with two more G-Mutants in order to get to the save room. Actually, just one more G-Mutant. Oh shit, I didn't up I didn't fucking delete that dude's head. Why didn't I delete that dude's head? I was supposed to do that. So the solution to this puzzle in B scenario is It looks like I had to take a minute to look up the solution because I can never remember the solution between either scenario unless I'm like actively running it or something. We'll put the rook plug in the center. We will take the bishop plug, then put the queen plug in its place, stick the bishop plug in the center, take the knight plug, and then put the king plug right there, then walk over here and put down the knight plug in the last slot. Okay, almost there, Ada. Oh. Oh, right. I remember this. My game froze here. I was trying to figure out why. Look at me trying to alt-tab back in. I don't know, the game just like froze. Don't worry, the run is the run is complete. The run was completed. That's why I have this video. The game just froze. No chat. You're 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 literally watching the video of the completed run. I did this run eleven months ago. That's we're watching a video of that. Oh 
Oh, it took a second. You know, I, I wonder why the game froze here. That was such... That was so weird. By the way, in case you're wondering about where to save your game, this is actually a good place to save your game. Ironically and unironically. Because the first half of the game is really, really, really easy to avoid damage in. Okay, now I'm starting to question why I even kept this recording. Oh, there it goes. Then the game finally returns. I have no idea why the game froze like it did. So I picked up the Sewers Company pamphlet, and there's just bullets there. Just did a quick uh, spot check to make sure that I had everything that I needed. Oh, isn't there one more file? Yep, there it is. Unlocking the U area door. Good. No, past car. See, that's a scenario. Two, three, four is the solution here. Jesus Christ! Man, every time I see that yellow Rubbermaid container sitting on top of those oil drums, I keep thinking kitty litter. That's the one they sell tidy cats in. Just gonna wait for Birkin to plunge his claw in like four times. This is true, kitty litter is great for absorbing oil spills, anyhow. It's still alive? So the boss is gonna bust in, and we want him to scream at us, and then he's going to swing, and he's gonna plunge his claw into the wall, he's gonna miss. You know, he's just gonna make himself look like a huge jackass. So you know what? Fuck him. We're gonna run the other way after that. And then we're gonna push this button over here. And then we're going to throw a single flash. It'll disable him. And then we run up to him and we use the flamethrower. Try to maintain our distance and try to circle around behind him though. I'll we'll take the combat knife and this other flash grenade here. And then after that, I keep using the flamethrower until I am down to... Yo, how much health after that? Okay, so like 124 flamethrower fuel. And after he gets back up again... The aggravated damage was apparently enough. Oh, that's what I did. I, I avoided using a flash grenade over here on him because I accidentally used flash grenade on the one zombie earlier. Man, I must have been worrying about that the whole time. That's the end of that one. We can run across over here and grab some more magnum ammo. And it's just cutscenes from here until the laboratory. So, cute cutscenes. Come on, Ada. Ada, where are you? Over here! Ada. I was getting worried there for a sec. I can't.
can't get it out. I, I don't know if I should die. Just do it. I can't walk like this. Okay. It's gonna hurt. <sighs> Hold on. I can do it myself. Just relax, okay? So, what do we do now? Get yourself out of here. While well, you still can. I'm not just gonna leave you. Not like this. You don't understand. The situation's worse than I thought. You're not getting rid of me that easy. You protected me. Now it's my turn. I didn't realize we were keeping score. Grab my shoulder. Don't push it, rookie. Okay, I'm just trying to help. Watch your step. You want to help? We have to get to the nest. Nest? Umbrella's lab, right beneath us. Net let it slip. That's where the virus samples are. You up for this? I think I could fit it in my schedule. Come on. We got work to do. Yes, ma'am. The cable car will take us down to Nest. That wristband's our ticket to ride. Nice. Where'd you get that? Borrowed it. Anyway, we're almost there. This may be a one-way ride, so be prepared, Leon. This tram is bound for Nest. Do not exit until the final destination. You know what I was thinking? I can't wait for the FBI to raid Umbrella Headquarters and take those bastards to justice. I agree, but to be clear, you're not working in official capacity. This is a federal case. Once we get the G-Virus, I'm back on my own. Hey, Leon, trust me? Trust me? <laughs> Honestly, if I didn't, you'd probably be dead. Right. Look, I thought I might need your help, and I was right. If you can secure the G-Virus, I can make sure what happened in Raccoon City never happens again. Nita, you said it yourself. It's a federal case. I Leon, don't have the authority. Look at me. I'm a liability now. If I'm gonna finish this case, you're the last hope I've got. I'm not just gonna leave you here. What if you're attacked? What if you need help? I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. I gotta see this through. And I want to see you again. I got plenty to live for, trust me. Now, arriving at Nest. Go. Please, we don't have much time. You're gonna need this. Okay. Leon. I'm counting on you. I know.
for your safety. Stand clear until the doors are fully open. For your safety. So going into the cafeteria here, we're going to grab this grenade over here and start on our third stack. There's a uh, Mr. Raccoon right in front of us as well, which I just shot. We're going to grab a lot more flamethrower fuel. We only want to have one stack of flamethrower fuel, by the way. Any more is excessive and needs to be thrown out. go in here there's some shotgun shells there's the uh wristband chip and the uh regulator for the flamethrower of course i have uh too many defense items there i need to be able to free up at least one in order to be able to get more shotgun shells i back off from the door a little bit just to make sure that a zombie didn't uh somehow make its way out Nap room log is on the computer behind the desk. You know what's funny is uh, the lobby of the Umbrella Laboratory here is a little reminiscent of the one from Operation Raccoon City. And there's another for ID wristbands right there. You know I should replay Operation Raccoon City sometime because I only ever I only ever got like a shitty composite recording of like a normal mode speedrun from a really long time ago. Chris is in the west area. Once we get the uh, signal regulator, or the signal modulator rather, we can run back in here. But at this point, we gotta be super careful because we can't afford to be getting grabbed. Like I have no qualms with uh, sacrificing a uh, sacrificing a uh, flash grenade in order to keep in the run, but I would rather not have to do that with Super Tyrant. There's our last side pack and the last Mr. Raccoon. Shoot it, pick up Wayne Lee's note. Then we can go back in here and after we got that side pack, now we can uh, pick up the knife from the kitchen and leave it equipped. I said leave it equipped past Carsey. Oh my God, past Carsey. You fucking shit pile. Pass Carsey, do you want to lose flash grenades if you get grabbed? Pass Carsey is living dangerously. Oh, thank Christ, he actually realized it. Oh, man. So because we have the signal modulator, we actually don't have to worry about uh, taking an extra cycle through the East Laboratory.
pick up the yellow gunpowder here and we will squeeze by this first uh, Groot. This first Groot motherfucker over here. And the codes for this are 2048. And then 5831. Dispensing solution now. So at this point, I don't really need the Magnum too badly. I combine the large gunpowder with the, this over here to get a lot more shotgun shells. Combine that. Then we can grab this other uh, hand grenade here, put it in our second stack. And the uh, herbicide synthesis note. And in the B scenario, to solve this, the answer is... Manual mode engaged. Blue, red, green Adjust three times. In general, shooting one of the bulbs will be enough to stun the Groots so you can run around them, which is why I don't even bother torching them, really. Unless it's one that I absolutely need to take out of the equation permanently. We're just going to walk over here. We got the other shotgun shells here. Take out some heads. Then we're going to use the signal modulator over here. we got to remember to use the signal modulator before these liquors show up. Because if we don't, we fuck up royally. We already have all the ammunition we need to take down Birkin 3, so... Don't need to worry about hoarding acid rounds this time. Once we round the corner over here, that liquor is going to pop down and jump at us. Back, Dr. Lee. I got Wayne Lee's inbox right here. Ugh. Who left the freezer open? Cooling sequence in progress. And now we've got the disposal cartridge herbicide, which we can now head back into the laboratory. Wow, he done touched his toes after I decapitated him. That was really good. I can't even do that with my head. Yellow gunpowder here. 
Don't know what I'm going to do with that yet, but... We also got to pick up somebody's note. Our inventory is full. We don't really got to worry about it too much. Decapitate her and uh, head back through the area with the Groots and use the herbicide. If we use the herbicide, then we can just run straight for the for the key chip. Oh, fascinating. He just like didn't even see me. Interesting. Dispensing solution now. That did the trick. Pass Carsey, what are you doing? Go for the fucking chip, dude. Oh yeah, Pass Carsey probably didn't realize that there's Morning. only a limited amount of time for the uh, for the Groots to stay incapacitated. Oh, you royally fucked up there, Pass Carsey. Well, that's okay. We only got to deal with one on the way out then. But we still got to fucking run because there's Mr. X. Try aiming. Maybe try not aiming at all and just actually go for the speedrun strap because it actually is safer. It might actually be, uh... Might actually be in your best interest. Oh, I missed the file from Byron Cartwright's inbox, but if you go to the podium, there's another file. Uh, but that uh, file I also collected in Claire B and possibly Leon A. I think I did. Leon first, Leon A. Sorry, I get my nomenclature mixed up between Resident Evil 2 Classic and Resident Evil 2 Remake. Hopefully the G-Sample's up here. What am I going back for? Oh, right, maybe so that I can uh, get some more shotgun shells? Gunpowder A? What am I looking for? Oh, I must have missed something. Or maybe I was just checking to make sure that I got the uh, the file from the storage area. That might be why I went back. Oh no. Oh wait, 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 okay. Yeah, so I ran back to Byron Cartwright's inbox. I must have had Matt DeRock in the chat telling me that I forgot an item. I already extended the bridge. How far back was this gameplay? Question from chat. Uh, like 11 months ago, just about. 10 months, actually. No, 11 months. The game wasn't even out yet. So, AWS here, and also we finished off our last uh, stack of grenades. And uh, William Birkin's inbox is on the computer over there. Well, I guess I missed it, and I'll probably grab it on the way out. The research diary is the last file in the game. That was easy. Dude. All right. Now that's not really G virus. It's actually grape drink. Did you see how that thing fizzed? 
decided to combine both the yellow gunpowders. I could have combined and gotten uh, and gotten uh, shotgun shells, but I decided to get some magnum rounds instead because they'll pop the eyes in one shot going after Birkin. this thing William. Why? It shouldn't have been like this. It's Umbrella's fault, this whole mess. Your Umbrella too. You're telling me you weren't involved in this. Yes. But we never meant for this to happen. Then tell me everything. Right from the start. We made the G-Virus, but we never intended this You can spin it any way you want. You're still responsible. So as soon as you take out the first eye on the leg, we want to run around, spin around, and uh, take out the eye on the back. And then we'll go pick up the uh, pick up the flamethrower fuel. And then when we focus shot the final eye, then Birkin is going to be down for a while, and we're going to use the flamethrower until it gets down to around. The timing on the strat used to be pretty strict. So until we get to around 200 fuel, and then I'm trying to aim so that he can jump over me, and whenever he jumps over me is when I want to equip the Magnum and shoot out the eye on his back. Really, the idea is to try to get him to jump over so that he'll actually take out the eye on the back. But if we take out the eye on the back, he's free. So there we take out the eye on the shoulder last and just uh, keep dumping flamethrower fuel into him. That's it. He's had it. He's done. He's going to try to transform into phase three, but he's got like almost no HP left now. Yeah, he's done. So that's the uh, last regular grenade in the game. And we got two more flash grenades that we can pick up here. Pick up the rest of this flamethrower fuel, I guess, for no reason. Just no good reason at all. And then to the right here is our last flash grenade in the entire game. Jesus. That looks 
bad. It feels worse. Believe me. Talk about what you said. I know how much I believe. Just tell me you'll destroy that G sample. No, it's evidence. It's going to the FBI. <laughs> you trust that bitch? What's that supposed to mean? She's not FBI. She's a mercenary. She's gonna sell it. The G virus is gonna go to the highest bidder. That's bullshit. I hope you're right. But if the G virus gets into the wrong hands. I was just thinking about you. That makes two of us. I was getting worried. You know, we make a good team. I gotta ask you something. Way's clear. Please, tell me you got it. Oh, I got it. Let me verify the G-sample when we get the hell out of here. Before we do that, I ran into Annette. She claims you're not FBI. Why couldn't you just hand over the sample? As I realized, as much as I wanted to trust you, I didn't. I really hoped it wouldn't end up like this. So that's all this was? I was just some pawn to you? Look, I'm just doing my job. And I'm doing mine, so drop that damn gun! I'm taking you in. Hand over the sample, Leon. I don't want to hurt you. Shoot me. But I don't think you can.
place is coming down. Listen to me. You need to get out. Fast. Yeah. There's a way out. We can make it. Where are you now? Claire, are you still there? Leon? Hey, Leon, you're breaking up. Forget about me. Just get out of here. Damn it. So we're just going to take that knife, use it as an extra defense item, just in case. Spoiler alert, we don't really need it. Both these Groots are just uh, chilling here. I'm going to pop him. I'm actually going to equip the shotgun here, pop him, and save the magnum rounds for uh, Mr. X. For the super tyrant whenever uh, whenever we go to fight him in case on the off chance that we need them. So he's gonna drop down in front of us. Is this a fucking joke? A couple of focus shots there will actually take him down. And it's like one or two or three Magnum shots will Act as a uh, will act as a stun. Though realistically, we should uh, not be keeping the Magnum equipped at all. I don't even know why I'm keeping the Magnum equipped. No, Carsey, unequip the Magnum. Do it right now. Oh, thank God. Okay. Then we're going to use the joint plug and start the fight. So here's the deal with the, uh, with the Tyrant. The reason why I saved all of my grenades for this fight is because... It actually makes it really easy to manipulate him for no damage. So just try to keep him stun locked the whole time. And we can do that very easily with grenades. So I wait until he's about to take his first step. Basically hitting him with a grenade when he is ready to walk is precisely when you should be hitting him anyway. So whenever he stands straight up is the best time to be throwing grenades. So five, what is six, it? and then I believe after grenade number seven. Nope. I think it's like the first grenade that hits him after those uh, two concrete blocks drop down. But we're in phase two, and after every two stuns with the grenade, he will do his uh, slam dunk over here. And that's when we uh, run to Leon's left in order to try to get around him. And he's gonna try to do it again. We gotta equip the flash grenade here because we are all out of regular grenades and after that big old concrete chunk slab slams down there he enters his third phase and his next attack is going to be a charge the uh oh not good attack 
after this point, we can just start throwing flash grenades wholesale, and we should have about two or three left over. Now we got the rocket launcher, we just threw a flash grenade, and one rocket, since we're playing on standard difficulty, is enough to just completely remove Mr. X from the equation. And now we're done with the video game. Please clap. Please eight in chat. I miss her. Leon? We made it. Just like I said we would. Who's this? This is Sherry. Okay. Jesus. What was that? I don't know. I'll go. Take care of Sherry.
So, are you guys, like, boyfriend and girlfriend? No. We're just... Uh, well, we actually just met last night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would have been one hell of a first date, though. Yeah, you have no idea. Look! He might be able to give us a ride. <sighs> what if it's not just the city? Get Cherry out of here. Is it over? I don't know. But if it's not, we'll stop it. Whatever it takes. Yeah, you're damn right we will. As long as we stick together, we'll be fine. Come on. Hey, you guys can adopt me. <laughs> adopt you? Uh. <laughs> we can get a puppy. A uh, puppy? And a parrot. Parrot. <laughs> I always wanted pets, but my mom said they're too messy. Uh. Next up on this boring Wednesday is a song to get your blood pumping. So that is the end of Resident Evil 2 Remake, Leon's second. No save, no damage, no item box, 100%. I pretty much just get S plus by default because doing a no save, no damage run, it's pretty much impossible to not get S plus. even with getting 100% of everything, as you're gonna see. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also check out the rest of my videos on other games, including Resident Evil games. Chances are you probably scooped this up during like a winter sale or something. If you're watching this by now, A lot of the uh, guides, or rather walkthroughs that I make, are generally tailored around the idea of trying to help people get most of the achievements. So you might want to give them a watch. But I have uh, I have playthroughs of a lot of different survival horror games, so definitely go check them out. If you're interested in supporting my content monetarily, you can do so on Patreon at patreon.com slash carcinogensda. For as little as $1, you can get early access to all of my videos as soon as they are ready to post. So you'll be able to view my videos sometimes weeks in advance. The $5 OWO tier will also give you access to my work in progress recordings for my no damage runs that actually do utilize game saves. Sometimes with commentary, sometimes without. But uh, if it's something you sound like, something that sounds like you might be interested in, please go check it out. Also check out my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash carcinogensda. Streaming on Twitch is my full-time job. And I record all of my runs while I am live on Twitch, as well as all of my commentaries. So if you want to catch me in the act, that is the best time to do it. My usual stream times are from 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Once again, the address is twitch.tv slash carcinogensda, so give me a follow over there. For all other announcements, check out my Discord at discord.gg slash carcinogensda and also my Twitter at carcinogensda 
all of the links to which are in the pinned comment or in the description. This is pretty much it for uh, Remake 2 videos for a while. If I come back to this, then I might wind up doing uh, no HUD, no damage on Hardcore. Because that seems like it might be a fun challenge. But hopefully next up I should have uh, Resident Evil 7 no save, no damage available by the time this video is live. So keep an eye out. That's all I got, so thank you everyone for watching, and I will see you guys next video. Later. One hour, 47 minutes, 52 seconds, rank S+. Plus. Not a speedrun, but you also won't unlock anything either. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.